What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Show. Today we're looking at Hasbro Marvel Legends Venom 3 pack. So this was an Amazon exclusive that comes with a figure of Venom. So Eddie Brock here you can sort of see his face. And then we also get two more of the symbiotes. So we get Agony. So this pinkish color one. And then Riot as well. The blue color one. So that looks pretty cool. Of course in our plastic free packaging. But nice comic artwork there with a nice like comic book design for the front of the box. We have our three figures there on the side. And then little breakdowns of each of them with their stories there on the back. So these look pretty cool and I'm excited for to see the figures and get two more symbiotes to go with our whole group. And with these, we're filling out more of our Venom symbiote family. So that is pretty cool as well. So let me go and get these open and out of the box and we'll take a look at them together. Well, let's start off with Venom from this pack. And overall, he looks cool. It's a different Venom design than what we've seen. And overall, I do really like this a lot, but it's still Venom. We've seen him multiple times, talked about him multiple times. It's Eddie Brock, of course, which with this figure, we can actually see part of his head. So he's got the flat top haircut with the blonde hair. And then part of his face, so he looks kind of like older and like meaner and angry and stuff compared like we see with Peter Parker, but still looks pretty cool there. And then he's got half the symbiote covering his face. So like we got like the tentacles and stuff all hanging off of half his face to show that there. But then we have the Venom eye and the Venom Mouse is showing the mouth and teeth there. And even part of the tongue sticking out coming over this way with the teeth coming off of it. So that all looks pretty cool and it's awesome. We have like the half human, half symbiote face, which is awesome. And then we have the all Venom body. So he's a bigger muscular body and stuff. And I'll show you comparisons and sign stuff to all the other figures, but looks like Venom. So he's got the white markings on his hands, the white spider on the chest, you know, coming from Spider-Man. So it's got the spider there that looks cool on the front and the back with the lines connecting up there. And then all black everywhere else, but he's got the claw hands, so got the the hands with the long fingernails and stuff that look pretty cool there and overall this is just an awesome looking venom like i love it with this face design and then having the tendrils and stuff sticking off of it just looks really cool and it's a nice bigger body design and just for some comparison like a venom this is probably the closest venom i found that we have i don't remember exactly what this is from but it's on the bigger body i forget what they call this body even like sets the bigger thicker body but this new venom is now even bigger than that and just overall looks a little bit different and much cooler and like meaner and stuff with the symbiote like all over over his arms and everything it's hard to see but the texture and stuff there so just overall looks really cool and to me this is definitely an improved venom but let's do the movement so his head there can twist all it should be able to twist all the way around but the tongue's kind of connecting with the tentacles there but it can twist around he can look down that far and up that far so not too bad in the movements shoulders can come up to 90 and has the butterfly joints so swings back and forth there and rotates all the way around we get a bicep twist, the double elbow joint that can bend up that far. So just about 90, of course, with all the muscles can't go too far. And the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. We have the ab crunch in the middle, so crunch forward, crunch back. So pretty decent crunching back and forth. Twist all the way around at the waist. Hips can come up to 90 and out to the side that far. Thigh twist all the way around. A double knee joint that bends up that far to the back. And the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side. And so even for being a bigger figure, movements aren't that bad. It doesn't have the best range like with the elbows and stuff, but everything else has really good movements, so not bad for this figure. But what's really cool about him, he comes with some accessories. So he's got the claw hands, which are going to be my preference hands. He comes with some fist hands though, so we have the fist with the white markings on so you know they're for Venom there. But then he also comes with a fully covered face with the long tongue sticking out going all the way to the back there, so that looks cool. So let's switch this head out. So there is that head switched out, and overall it looks cool but weird at the same time. Like it seems like the head's really big or something. I don't know, it should be probably similar size to this, but it just seems really big overall. No, it is a lot bigger, at least it seems like the head's a little bit bigger, but it just looks kind of weird on the body. But it's a really cool head at least, like I have no complaints about this the design of it or anything i love that tongue sticking out and all that it just seems like it's a little bit too big maybe just the position on the head or something not sure but it just seems a little too big for the body so i definitely probably prefer this other head more but i love having the fully covered venom head so nice to just have a full venom figure there just like i said the head just seems a little bit too big but i definitely love this head showing half of the eddie brock there and stuff so that's cool but very awesome to have this venom like I said not necessary we've had multiple venoms but i'd probably say so far like comic venom wise design stuff this is probably the best one so far. And also from this pack, we have Agony, which looks pretty cool here in this pinkish purple design. But Agony is a symbiote offspring extracted from the Venom symbiote by the Life Foundation. So we sort of have a Life Foundation group here of five different symbiotes, and she is one of five, and she's the purple symbiote. But that purple symbiote was bound to a security force officer of the Life Foundation known as Leslie Janeria. So we have different members of this security force all bonded with the five different symbiotes that become the creatures. And we have all of them that I can show you here today. But overall, she looks cool. I love the colors of like 
like the darker pink magenta or whatever with the lighter pink colors up front. So just the combination of the different shades of like pinks and purples looks really awesome. So we have a face that looks very creepy. It's like very much like a carnage like face with the eye designs where it's kind of all wrinkly instead of more of the smooth designs. But then we have the big mouth with the teeth all in it. So all the white looks like the paint job is not the best on it, but it just, you know, kind of fits in with the design. The long hair, so we have long pinkish color hair going even has like a little point tail there at the end. So much like Nightcrawler's tail with that point on there, but looks pretty cool and crazy and wavy there. And then we got the female body. So she has the chest and then the, like I said, different colors of the lighter pink in the center, darker purple to the magenta pink there and running down the legs to the lighter pink where she has toes there on her feet, which are pretty cool. It's nice to have like the claw feet on there with her hands. So overall, she looks pretty cool. I assume the figure wise isn't going to be the easiest, like the stand stuff with her hair, much like we had with Scream in the past. But overall, I love the color. So she looks awesome. But with it being a symbiote, it's going to have pretty much all the same powers as Venom, a superhuman strength and durability, as well as a healing factor with wall crawling and webbing abilities, of course, taken from Spider-Man. And then she has the ability of camouflage as well as an acid spit. So that's kind of crazy for agony. But overall, like I said, looks really awesome. But we can do her movement so our head can twist. It's going to be hard, I think. She has some stiffness with the neck, but it can twist all the way around there because you get the hair all the way. And then she can look down that far and up probably can't really get too far because the hair yeah just back about that far so pretty much straight on but then we get the shoulders that come up to 90 even a little bit over there and rotate around we get a bicep twist and the double elbow joints so we have the newer female body so it's going to have the double elbow joints there which is cool so bends up all the way wrist can twist around and flex back and forth we have that crunch just under her chest so crunch back and forth and twist around a little doesn't really do much of either but it is there hips up to 90 and out to the side thigh twist all the way around double knee joint that bends up that far to the back not far from kicking her butt and then the foot flexes back and forth and twists side to side so not horrible doesn't have all the best movements you know it doesn't have as many as the males do but with those double elbow joints and knee joints and stuff it works out pretty well now the closest thing we have to agony is scream the bodies are a little bit different but here we have the scream body like scream has the single elbow joints and stuff but body wise design they look relatively similar just obviously agony is on that new body so looks pretty good and both have the big long hair and stuff but just want to show both of Agony and Scream there. And accessory wise, the only thing Agony comes with is a set of hands. We get a set of fist hands in that pink color, which for me, I definitely want those claw hands because I think they look much cooler. But overall, like I said, a nice, awesome look for Agony and awesome to get her to add with our Life Foundation group. And our final figure of the box is Riot. And if you saw the first Venom movie, he is the big monster that Venom fights at the end. So it's pretty cool we have him in the comic version now. So he is from a blue symbiote that was taken from Venom and bond to the security force officer, Trevor Cole. So again, much like Agony, it's a security force officer that was bond with the Venom. And he is this blue color, which is mostly all blue, but there are these details of like black underneath. So you can see like on his chest and stuff. So all these little sections don't really know what they're supposed to be. They're just like holes or like gaps, but it's just all blue with these black holes all through it which is cool and then even on the head we get a black design like right in the center but we get the big eyes and that nice pearlescent white there much like venom with the big mouth and the teeth again paint job's not the best but it's not horrible and then we get the mouth in there that's all red with the tongue and then we have the big monster venom sort of body so as the tendrils coming off his back and the big just giant body overall that looks really cool claws on his hands and claws there on his toes and stuff so overall it looks cool i love the blue color and everything they chose just looks awesome with that black sort of sticking out out. So pretty cool to have this big monster. But for movements, get that that twist all the way around. Can look down that far and up that far. So not bad at all for that. Shoulders can come up about that far. So under 90 and rotate around. We get a bicep twist, the single elbow joint that can bend to 90. And then we get the wrist that can twist around and flex back and forth. We have the ab crunch in the middle. So crunch forward and crunch back. Back just pretty much straight on but forward. Pretty good there. So nice crunching. Twist all the way around at the waist. Hips can come up to 90. Out to the side there, thigh twist all the way around, double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back. We have a shin twist sort of in the middle of the leg and then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side. So he is a big monster and doesn't have all the best movements but what he does have isn't bad. And with him being in this big monster body, the closest thing we have is this version. I think, I think this is the monster venom. So they're pretty much on the same body. It looks like the monster venom is just maybe crouched down. But yeah, big monster body, pretty much reused the same one. We've had multiple times with figures and like 
toxin and stuff, but pretty cool to have Riot here. And with Riot for his powers, he pretty much has all the same powers of Venom and Agony. But the thing that makes him distinct is he tends to form bludgeoning weapons like hammers and maces. So for his like claws, you know, sort of like Carnage does where he makes his hands into blades. So instead of blades, he tends to do bludgeoning weapons. But unfortunately with this pack, we do get a giant blade piece. So it's like this big ax that we can stick onto his hand. So let's pop his hand off and put this on. So there he has that giant like ax blade there. He can swing around with his hand now. So looks pretty cool. You know, there's not a whole lot to it. It's just this big blade. Like I said, you just got to move the arm around now to get him in poses and stuff. But it is cool that he does come with it. Like I said, it would have been cool to get the bludgeoning weapons since at least reading that's what he uses. But pretty cool. He still comes with this big accessory to go along with him. But now with Riot, we can add in the other four members of the Life Foundation. So there we have our five members of the Life Foundation. So we have Agony and Riot from this pack. Then we have Scream, Lasher, and Face. So those are the five symbiotes that were extracted from Venom by the Life Foundation and bonded to the security force officers. So that's cool. We have those. Then of course we have a lot more versions of Venom we can throw in here. And so with those we also have Venom and Carnage, Anti-Venom, and Toxin. So there's a whole different collection of all the characters. So there's all the different characters we have of symbiote spinoffs of Venom. So we have a whole big symbiote family here which is pretty cool. And of course we should just add Null as kings of the symbiotes but pretty cool to have all these here together now. But let me know what you thought of this Venom 3 pack down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review let me know with a thumbs up. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review. Thank you.